Hi, this is Brian Van from Sport Bike Track here, sportbiketrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a video review on one of our best selling helmets. I can't believe we haven't done this one yet. It's Nick's fault. This is the Showy RF 1000 full face motorcycle helmet. The, the graphic I'm holding here is the crest. This thing's been selling awesome. It's an incredible looking helmet. Hopefully the video can pick up some detail that the pictures online are unable to because this one has a, a really cool graphic and some effects underneath the clear coat that you really don't see in the picture. Look at the top of that. This is an incredible graphic. Size medium, this helmet on our digital shipping scale today, 3.35 pounds. The RF1000 uses four shell sizes and five different EPS sizes to achieve the best possible fit. I'm a medium in this helmet. I'm a medium in the entire Shoei line. This thing feels fantastic. And when you consider the price that it sells for, there's a ton of value in this helmet. The ventilation is great. The comfort is great. It uses their multi-fiber shell construction, DOT and Snell certified. Okay. It uses the showy, the famous showy shield, easy to remove, multiple detents all the way up and down. If you push up on this lever here on the left side of the shield towards the back, locks it so it doesn't come open. If you push down, it cracks it open so you get a little additional airflow in there if you're having a, a fogging issue. This works in concert with the vent up here in the chin. Okay, This vent directs air into the helmet and it also directs air up onto the shield. In order to enhance that a little bit, Shoei includes with the RF1000 a little breath deflector. Okay, Easy to put in. You simply go ahead and slide it in between the shell of the helmet and the EPS of the helmet here on the sides and it clips right into place like so seal down just a little bit. Nice positive engagement. Clips right in. And what that does is it helps to make sure that your air, okay, your exhaust is deflected down inside the helmet so it doesn't come up and collect on the shield so that helps to reduce the fogging. Okay. Our chin vent. Down is open. Up is closed. Like I said, that brings air into the helmet and also brings air up onto the shield. We have a vent on both brows. Simply slide back. Multiple detents so you can really tune the ventilation. The exhaust vent in the back of the helmet, it also has this arrow wing. Okay, and here are the exhaust vents. Open, closed. It also uses some exhaust vent exit here in the neck roll of the helmet. There's a lot of channels in between the multiple layers of EPS that are cut into this to aid in the ventilation. The Shoei RF1000 moves a great deal of air. Not quite as much as their flagship X11, but nevertheless it still moves a great deal of air. To remove the shield on this helmet, simply bring it all the way in the upward most position. Grab this trigger here, pull forward and down. You can see the shield pops right out. Repeat the process on the other side. Forward and down, shield pops right out. They use the same mechanism on the X11, the TCR, and the Multitech modular helmet. Nick, if you want to give them a little quick little close up here. Very reliable ratchet mechanism. They've been using it for a long time, multiple models. You can see the tabs here, the locator tabs on the shield. Kind of tough to do with a clear one. We'll do the best we can to show you. To reinstall the shield, what you want to do is you want to basically simulate an upward most position and you want to put that locator tab into its groove on the ratchet mechanism and then just push in. That's it. Audible click goes right into place. Mirror image on the other side. There it is. Removal and reinstallation. It's that easy. Showy's done a fantastic job with that. Absolutely unbelievable. The interior of the helmet, very comfortable. The cheek pads are removable 
replaceable and washable. And you can also put different thicknesses in there, kind of tune the fit of the helmet even beyond the multiple shell sizes and the multiple EPSs for you. To remove them, simply grab it in between the EPS of the helmet and the backing of the cheek pad. Pull the snaps loose. Two, there are three snaps on each cheek pad. And there you go. Material, high quality, feels great. They use high quality foam. It doesn't break down over time. The helmet retains its shape and fit for years. Okay, Shoei does a great job with that. Repeat the process on the other side. Now oftentimes, you know, people will ask, well, okay, that's great that I can wash my cheek pads, but doesn't the top pad require washing too? The answer to that is yes. On this helmet, you cannot remove the neck roll or the top pad, so you ask yourself, well, how do I wash my helmet? It's really easy to do, okay? Remember, there's nothing on this helmet that's going to be damaged by water, okay? You can simply take this thing in the shower and wash it from the inside out. Use just a little bit of soap and work it around here on the material, okay? Rinse it very, very thoroughly, and then you could simply, I would take the shield off, I think, when I was washing it, and have all the vents open and stuff, and you could kind of let it sit down on a towel and drip dry, right? Let it sit around until the liner is dry. I would guess it would probably take, you know, I don't know, maybe a day for the liner to dry, if that. Reinstall your cheek pads and you're done. The helmet's going to be ready to go. It's going to smell nice and fresh. So don't look at the fact that the top pad is fixed as a negative. It makes it a little bit more difficult to wash the helmet, but at the end of the day, it's not impossible. Okay? To reinstall the cheek pads, very easy to do. Just go ahead and grab the pad, slide the chin strap through the slot in the pad, and what you want to do is pick one of the three snaps. You want to look in there, locate the snap in the hole, push it in, grab the second one, push it in, final one, there you go, mirror image on the other side. Like I said, this is one of our best selling helmets and there's a reason for it. Fantastic value in this, lots of ventilation, lots of comfort, a lot of great features. and They've included some extras too, I've already shown you the breath deflector here how easy that is to install. Here is a chin curtain as well. Comes with the helmet. Simply push this in between the EPS of the helmet and the actual shell here. This is a little more difficult to do, okay? I think that putting the, the breath deflector in, you really got to work this in between the EPS and the, the shell of the helmet. But this is something that you don't really put in and take out quite often. This is going to be more of a, you know, definitely a cold weather kind of a thing. Kind of get it in between there. Use your fingers to really work it in place. The rearward portion of it goes in a lot easier, as you can see, than the front does. Just so got to continue to work it around. See that it'll slide in there quite nice, nice and flush. So there is the, the chin curtain that's included and your breath deflector installed. This is the Shoei RF1000 helmet from sportbiketrackgear.com. This is one of our favorites and one of our best sellers for sure.